So we have the radius here now, and we also have to distinguish right or left radius. Um, first off, we have the head of the radius. Now this is different than the ulna, but as Samra calls it, it's basically like a shoebox. So your head on the ulna is distal, right there, and the radius head is more proximal, and they fit together just like that. But you're not going to have both these bones on here, so let's stick with the radius. We have our head, which is this drum kind of looking thing, and then our neck, just all around this. Then we have our shaft, which is the, less, the length of the bone, and then our radial tuberosity. This is the only big bump on the bone, so it's pretty easy to tell. You can also tell whether it's right or left because our radial tuberosity is going to be on the medial side, closer to the ulna, and it's going to be anterior. So this would be your right uh, radius. Another thing, um, interosseous border also has to be on the medial side. And we have an ulnar notch on the medial side as well. This is where the head of the ulna will attach. After this, we have our dorsal tubercle. Dorsal means posterior, so back. Our posterior tubercle, you can actually see a little groove right there. Okay, so that's on the posterior side. That's another re uh, way to determine anterior or posterior. Uh, and then our anterior oblique line is coming from our radial tuberosity. So if you go back to our radial tuberosity right here, try to look down along this uh, shaft, we'll see a nice line coming like this. Okay, let's try it from this angle here. That's, you can actually see better. Radial tuberosity. Interosseous border, anterior oblique line. It's going to be kind of curving, just like that. Okay, you can see it on the on the nice real bone, but always remember that it's coming from the radial tuberosity. And that's it for the radius.